Hi guys, welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to create a simple user interface using Android Studio Layout Editor. In Android, the layouts are created using XML files. If you are not experienced in XML, don't worry, you can use the Android Studio Layout Editor. In this episode, we are going to design a layout similar to this one. Here we have a text area, we have a button. In Android, a text area is known as edit text. We need a hint on the edit text. So we are going to make that layout using <coughs> layout editor. So this area, this entire area is called layout editor. So for getting more space for the layout editor, I am going to hide the project window. This is the actual design. This is the blueprint of the design. So for design purpose, we need the blueprint. So select the design surface. Now currently it is in design plus blueprint. I change that one into blueprint. Now from the view option, you have to select show all constraints. Now the constraints are visible. Make sure that the auto connect is turned off. This is the default margin for the layout. I change the default margin into 16 dp. You can change the margin for individual views later. Here is the component tree. The component tree display all the components in that layout. Currently the root element is a constraint layout that contains some text view. This text view is no longer needed. I delete that one. So in our layout, first we have to add some text area. So select text from here. Select a plain text, drag it to the layout. You can zoom in here. So here the root element is a constrained layout. In a constrained layout, each item position is determined by using constraints between sibling views and to the parent itself. So we have to create constraints for each view component. For create constraints, we can use these bubbles on each side. So first here I create constraints on the left side. Now create constraints at the top side. Now we need a button, so select button and drag a button to the layout. <coughs> create constraints at the right side, create constraints at the top. Now create a constraints between these two views. Now in order to align these two view components horizontally, we have to create constraints between the baseline text. For that, right click the view and select this option, show baseline. Now select the constraints on the baseline and connect it to the baseline on the other view. Now these two view components align horizontally. Now the design is almost ready. Now we can check the design. So change this one into design. Okay, now the design is almost done. Now we need to change the default labels on these view components. In our design, we don't want a text on it. Instead, we need some hint message. Also, we have to change the label of the button into send. So we have to create some string resources for this project. So you have to place all the string resources in a file called strings.xml. For finding strings.xml, open project window, open resource folder, open values folder. There is a file called strings.xml. Open that file. Now we need to add some string resources to this file. For that, use the editor, open editor. Now add a new string resource. Specify key for it. I name it as message hint. Now specify the default value for it. Enter a message. Now add another string resource. This is the label of the button. So 
So here we add two string resources. We successfully add two string resources to the strings.xml. Now we can close this file. Now close the project window. Now again go to the layout editor. Select the edit text. So when you select the view components on the layout, on the attribute window, all the properties are displayed. So now we have to delete the text on the edit text. For that, search for text on the edit text. Here is the text. I delete that one. Now instead of text, we have to place some hint on it. So search for hint. Here is the int attribute. Add a new resource, pick a resource. So we create a resource for the hint. That is message hint. Click OK. So now the hint is visible on the edit text. Now we have to change label on the button. Select the button and search for text on it. Here it is. We have to add a resource. It is button label. Now the layout is ready. Now we can check this layout. So I run the project. Okay, now the application available on this virtual device. Here we have an edit text, we have a button. Now the layout is looking fine on this standard layout. So now I am going to create some other Android virtual device. Uh, instead of a standard device, I am going to add a tablet say with a big screen size. Click next. Select click next ok we need portrait mode this nexus 9 ok click finish now the tablet is created now run that one Ok, now the tab is ready. Now I am going to run the project on the tab. Run it. Now here you can see the layout is not looking good on the tab layout. It is looking fine on the standard screen size but it is not that much good on the larger screen. So now we have to configure this layout to flexible in all in all screen sizes. For that purpose, select any of the view component. Now hold the control button on keyboard, select the other view component. Now right click and select the chain option. Now create horizontal chain. Okay. Now select the edit text. On the constraint with get, uh, you have to select the, uh, the uh, inside of the rectangle area here. Now it is wrap content. This is the width constraint of the edit text. Uh, click that one. Now it is changed into fixer. Okay, click it again. Now it is changed into match constraint. So. The edit text will stretch automatically according to the width of the screen. So now we can check it again. So I run the project on the tab layout. Now it is looking good in tab layout. Now run it in normal screen size. Yeah, now it is looking fine on norm, on a normal screen size and a large screen size. So this is how we create a simple user interface using Android Studio Layout Editor. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now.